up everybody this is our boy what and we're back here with the second episode of our european war 5 discovery age conquest with germany and we got some things going on we're about to take out the spanish capital here next turn um what else do we have going on it's been a while oh yeah we need to take out Washington here. Hopefully we can afford... You know, with my Washington general and Napoleon, I don't need that good of troops to take out Washington. What do I want to do first? I think let's hit Madrid first. Actually, maybe I want to hold off on that. Let's hit Washington first. Now, I don't know if they're going to find another capital. Damn it. They did. I was hoping they would just give up. Give me their income, but no, they, they had to be dicks about it. Fine, bros, I'll track you down up there. It's, it's, not, it's not a big deal. You could have made life easier on yourself, though, if you just would have took an ass whooping. You know what I did, um... I hadn't played through the campaign for a while. And I, I played through the campaign and I got like three or four more levels through it. Or the stages. It was enough to get me some medals to upgrade Caesar. So what is weird is like... You know, I've leveled him up a couple, but does it does it really show in in this or will he be locked in what he was when I started the game? Like I think he's 43 maybe. But obviously when I started the game, he was at 40 and he was capped. So, I don't know. I don't know, does this is his stats different? Is he more of a badass? Or does the game just lock it in as it is when you start? That's a good question. I don't know. I can't answer that for you, bros. But anyways, we are going to continue our ass-kicking of the Spanish. And Caesar and Alexander is probably going to be our... Take out Africa, take out the Middle East force. Like I said, Genghis Khan and Lee Shimon, I'm sending to South America. Washington and Napoleon can do their business across the US, and then they can roll into Asia. I'm trying to decide where. See, I thought. They only had two defending troops. I wasn't too worried about it. In fact, I could probably take Toronto pretty easy just with my two generals. Because Washington has that ability where... Um... You destroy an enemy, it, you, you have so much percent chance of it triggering a return of 20% of your health. So actually it benefits him kind of when you just take him in with like one other general because... Or really by himself because... Washington 
is just a badass. He's he's like OP'd. He's like the only general that I would say is actually OP'd. The other ones can be beat. I you know I've I've lost them all before. But Washington is just like crazy good. All right, I seriously the U.S. should be done here. The British already took the West Coast, so this should be it for them. Bastards! What is that? You moved it to Denver. That's a dick move, bro. That's a dick move. Huh? Well. We'll just follow him. We'll just play a little game of follow the capital. Actually, with Denver, I don't need my good troops. I can send in crap in Denver and take it. I can't believe how long the grease has... The grease is held out there, like usually the first to get wrecked. They're holding on. If that was me though, if I was playing with Greece and I had Alexander there and that's all I had, I'd get my ass kicked. I'd have been out a long time ago. <laughs> What's good about the layout right now is we got two capitals right close by each other. Just go ahead and tackle the Brits in the US like back to back rounds. No big deal. Alright, we are going at Denver next turn with some common troops. I think the six units on Atlantic 4 should probably attack me at Lisbon rather than attack north. If you play a while, you kind of learn how the computer AI reacts. You had to know. You were going to get your ass kicked doing that. See, boom, called it. Knew they were going to come at me. Okay, Russia, you, you suck. That was three battles and you lost them all. I don't even know how that's possible. The Arabs are not much better, though. And the... Korea never does shit in any of these. I don't ever remember Korea, like, attacking. They just sit there and take an ass whooping. When I get... Usually it's when I get there. I have to go in, kick their ass, you know. All right, let's let's see what happens here. I don't think Denver that I don't think it's that strong. I think we we can take it pretty easy here. What? I do not agree with that. Put put a little bit better troops there with that. Alright, 
they're they're healing up nicely. Athens is still beating them off. <laughs> I just said Athens was beating them off. You, you bros, you, if there's one thing you don't want, I'll tell you this right now, because I've been there. You just don't want Athens beating you off. They're far too rough when they do it. All right, we're advancing. We're advancing nicely down here. We're. I'm happy with the pace. Healed up our infantry generals. Why does my ear fucking hurt? My ear hurts like when you get pressure built up in it. But I haven't had a cold or anything, so I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. Boom! Where are you going to move your capital? That was actually a joke. I, I thought I would beat them with that win. I didn't actually expect them to move their capital again. That was kind of bullshit. You know, I could... I don't know. I'll think about it. I was gonna say, like, uh, Napoleon and Washington are like two generals that can hang on their own in Discovery Age. I wouldn't trust the other generals on their own. But Napoleon and Washington, I would trust on their own. So I might split them up for a little bit. Athens again. Boom! Athens beat you off, bro! Beat them Austrians off. Damn, the British are no joke. Now I will just swing south. Alright, they have... Generals have not got too damaged yet. And they shouldn't because I just wasted like, what, four or five turns healing them. Um... I don't know what I want to do. Let's do that. We'll leave Napoleon there, maybe throw some troops on him. Have him go through Salt Lake. Oh, Athens again! Damn, they just keep beating off the Austrians. It's very, very, very disturbing. It's a new type of warfare. Right, I don't know why San Francisco is completely empty. Why would you leave your capital empty? I mean, I do. Constantly, but usually they don't.
I'm I'm gonna have to take Rio because I know the Incas always move their capital to Rio if you take Cusco. I do know that much. take Carthage. Hopefully that'll be the end of the Spanish. I don't know. They might move it. But I need to start focusing on the Austrians here. I'll send Washington to the British capital, I'll send Napoleon to the US capital. Then they can meet up once again and have like a bro fest in Japan or something. I'll put them back together. You don't want to split up your bros for too long. After car what? Well, I guess that tells us that the Spanish did in fact move their capital, and now that kind of um, forces us to go after the Austrians. Rio. What? How did I lose four troops? Now, if this isn't the end of the British, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Thank you. Vegas goes down. Gonna stop in, see a little bit of... See Britney Spears. Check out her act. I used to love Britney Spears. Not her music, bros, but... Her... Her personage. Russia, what are you doing? How can you suck so bad? I mean, they're throwing down some war in the Middle East. Kind of like present day, today. Twenty-two. Well, bros, I think... At round 22, I'm going to wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop the shit. I like and subscribe. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Uh, peace. Boominati.